911 dispatchers take on nearly three to 500 emergency related calls a day. Being a calm in the storm, all while safely assessing the situation as help arrives. And for many dispatchers, it's the high stress calls that stick with them for years. But as Malik Wilson shows us, one Stanley dispatcher has found a unique way to cope. Bailey Johnson is a 26-year-old Stanley resident working as a 911 dispatcher for Montreal County Emergency. Started working at the sheriff's office um, about five years ago. I was actually working at a gas station, and the sheriff at the time came in and told me to come apply for dispatch, so I did. Taking the job as a full-time position, she wasn't quite sure what she was getting herself into, receiving a lot of sad calls like... Mother whose child isn't breathing, and... Um, those are definitely some of the hardest calls I've taken is trying to convince people that, you know, help is on the way and that we're doing everything that we can to get people to you and to help you through this situation. And I'm dealing with multiple situations throughout my one eight-hour shift. So those are the calls that really kind of um, stick with you and you take home with you. But as a way to cope and get her mind away from work, Johnson found music. Just started writing songs and have been writing songs ever since. And it's just, um, it's kind of like my form of therapy, I guess. I just love writing my thoughts down and putting it to music. And so I've been doing that. Affecting not only her emotions, but those surrounded by her as well. I've, I mean, I've been doing dispatch with her. So I know we've taken some pretty rough calls together and we kind of been each other's support system through that because it's hard to deal with those emotions by yourself. So. Johnson's music has now traveled to near cities like Minot, where she now has an opportunity to record her next album and move forward with her career. I somehow got hooked up with Casey Black. He runs Adapt Audio in Minot, and he has his own recording studio, and he does an amazing job. And so that's, I guess, kind of where all that came from. Reporting for KX News in Stanley, Nick Wilson. Johnson says she'll continue to make music for those affected by trauma.